Energy can be stored in a number of different forms by various physical implementations, which have different characteristics with respect to storage efficiency, rate of energy transfer, and size. These systems can also include a possible energy conversion that consists of a change of one form of energy to another form of energy. The storage is usually temporary lasting for periods ranging from a fraction of a second to days or years, and can be for very small or large amounts of energy. Also, it is basically a shift of the energy transfer from a time when it is unwanted and thus inexpensive to a time when it is wanted and then often expensive. It is also very important to consider the maximum rate of energy transfer in the charging or discharging process, as size and possible losses are sensitive to that rate. Notice that it is difficult to have high power and high energy storage in the same device. It is also difficult to store energy more compactly than in gasoline. A flywheel stores energy and momentum in its angular motion. It is used to dampen out fluctuations arising from a single, or few, cylinder engines that otherwise would give an uneven rotational speed. The storage is for only a very short time. A modern flywheel is used to dampen fluctuations in intermittent power supplies like a wind turbine. It can store more energy than the flywheel shown in. A bank of several flywheels can provide substantial power for 5 to 10 minutes. A fraction of the kinetic energy in air can be captured and converted into electrical power by wind turbines, or the power can be used directly to drive a water pump or other equipment. When excess power is available, it can be used to pump water up to a reservoir at a higher elevation and later can be allowed to run out through a turbine, providing a variable time shift in the power going to the electrical grid. Air can be compressed into large tanks or volumes, as in an abandoned salt mine, using power during a low demand period. The air can be used later in power production when there is peak demand. One form of hybrid engine for a car involves coupling a hydraulic pump, motor to the drive shaft. When a braking action is required, the drive shaft pumps hydraulic fluid into a high pressure tank that has nitrogen as a buffer. Then, when acceleration is needed, the high pressure fluid runs backward through the hydraulic motor, adding power to the drive shaft in the process. This combination is highly beneficial for city driving, such as for a bus that stops and starts many times, whereas there is virtually no gain for a truck driving long distances on the highway at a nearly constant speed. Thermal Systems Water can be heated by the solar influx, or by some other source, to provide heat at a time when this source is not available. Similarly, water can be chilled or frozen at night to be used the next day for air conditioning purposes. A cool pack is placed in the freezer so that the next day it can be used in a lunchbox to keep it cool. This is a gel with a high heat capacity or a substance that undergoes a phase change. Electrical Systems Some batteries can only be discharged once, but others can be reused and go through many cycles of charging-discharging. A chemical process frees electrons on one of two poles that are separated by an electrolyte. The type of pole and the electrolyte give the name to the battery, such as a zinc carbon battery, typical AA battery, or a lead acid battery, typical automobile battery. Newer types of batteries like a nihydride or lithium ion battery are more expensive but have higher energy storage, and they can provide higher bursts of power. Electrical systems. Some batteries can only be discharged once but others can be reused and go through many cycles of charging-discharging. A chemical process frees electrons on one of two poles that are separated by an electrolyte. The type of pole and the electrolyte give the name to the battery, such as a zinc carbon battery, typical AA battery, or a lead acid battery, typical automobile battery. Newer types of batteries like a nihydride or lithium-ion battery are more expensive but have higher energy storage and they can provide higher bursts of power. Chemical Systems Various chemical reactions can be made to operate under conditions such that energy can be stored at one time and recovered at another time. Small heat packs can be broken to mix some chemicals that react and release energy in the form of heat. In other cases, they can be glow sticks that provide light. 
A fuel cell is also an energy conversion device that converts a flow of hydrogen and oxygen into a flow of water plus heat and electricity. High temperature fuel cells can use natural gas or methanol as the fuel, in this case, carbon dioxide is also a product. The latest technology for a solar-driven power plant consists of a large number of adjustable mirrors tracking the sun so that the sunlight is focused on the top of a tower. The light heats a flow of molten salt that flows to storage tanks and the power plant. At times when the sunlight is absent, the storage tanks provides the energy buffer to keep the power plant running, thus increasing the utilization of the plant. Earlier versions of such technology use water or other substances to capture the energy, but the higher heat capacity of salt provides an economical buffer system. When work needs to be transferred from one body to another, a moving part is required, which can be a piston-cylinder combination. Examples are shown in Figure 3.34. If the substance that generates the motion is gas, it is a pneumatic system, and if the substance is a liquid, it is a hydraulic system. The gas or vapor is typically used when the motion has to be fast or the volume changes large and the pressures moderate. For high pressure, large force displacements a hydraulic cylinder is used, examples include a bulldozer, forklift, front loader, and backhoe. Also, see example 1.7. Two of these large pieces of equipment, we also consider cases where the substance inside the piston, cylinder undergoes a combustion process, as in gasoline and diesel engines. A schematic of an engine cylinder. This subject is discussed in detail in Chapter 10. Many other transfers of work involve rotating shafts, such as the transmission and drive shaft in a car or a chain and rotating gears in a bicycle or motorcycle. For transmission of power over long distances, the most convenient and efficient form is electricity. Heat transfer occurs between domains at different temperatures, as in a building with different inside and outside temperatures. The double set of window panes is used to reduce the rate of heat transfer through the window. In situations where an increased rate of heat transfer is desirable, fins are often used to increase the surface area for heat transfer to occur. The last example of a finned heat exchanger is a heat pipe or a thermosiphon. Used for an enhanced cooling capacity of a central processing unit, CPU, in a computer. The small aluminum block with a copper piping attaches to the top of the CPU unit. Inside the copper tubing is a liquid that boils at a temperature of about 60 C. The vapor rises to the top, where the copper piping is connected to the fins, and a fan blows air through the fins thus cooling and condensing the vapor. The liquid falls with gravity or is transported by a wick back to the volume on top of the CPU unit. The heat pipe allows the boiling heat transfer with the high transfer coefficient to act on the small area of the CPU. The less effective vapor-to-air heat transfer takes place further away, with more room for a larger area. Similar heat pipes are used in solar heat collectors and in the support pillars for the Alaskan oil pipeline where they keep the permafrost ground frozen while the pipeline is warm.